Welcome to Morning Prayer. This is Wednesday, November 9th. My name is Pastor Keith Free, one of the pastors at St. John's Lutheran in McGuanago, Wisconsin. We begin with morning prayer on page 207. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Praise and thanks to God. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he may hate it, and his hand form the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. This devotion is being recorded prior to the election, which took place November 8th. This morning, though, I'm sure there are many results which have come to light. There have been many individuals who have been elected to respective positions in government, and uh, you may be happy, you may be sad, you may have mixed feelings about what has taken place. Regardless of who has been elected and to what position, as we think of those in positions of authority, God is very clear to us in his word. I'm looking at First Timothy chapter 2, uh, the first six verses where Paul is writing, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, and intercession and thanksgiving may be made for all people, for kings and those in authority, uh, those in political positions, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. Yes, we're going to uh, have some varying opinions about who was elected, who wasn't elected, what that means for our country, what that perhaps means for the economy, what that means for the next two, four, six years. As we think about those who serve in uh, governmental positions of authority, certainly there are various things we can do, but one thing the, the Lord directs us to do through the Apostle Paul is to pray. Uh, whether we agree with the policies or sometimes are pulling our hair out because of the policies, whether we like what we hear or we're a little disgusted with what we hear, there's still that direction from our Lord that we remember those in these positions in our prayers. And Paul gives a very specific reason for that. While we'll have our own conclusions as to uh, the results, while we'll certainly favor some and perhaps not be in favor of others, Yet, uh, one of the blessings of this country is there's still that semblance of order, that there's still an overarching opinion that we want to have some safety in this country 
and that there's some rule in this country. That's important because as you think about it, through the means of modern communication, we can see the turmoil which takes place in a variety of locations throughout the world. Um, it's, it's sad to see, but it's the reality of a sinful world. Well, one of the blessings we have in our country is that with this peace, we still have opportunities to share the gospel. You heard in this reading that God wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of a truth. God wants his word to continue to go out. But it's difficult for God's word to go out where there's the fighting and the, the insurrection and where there's just plain chaotic type living. Thankfully, in our country, we still have the, the opportunity, the privilege, the means to be sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's that one mediator between God and man. He's the one who has made it possible for us to be in heaven. And he's the one that many more people need to hear about. And so just think about it. Our church body, the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, a small church body, has opportunity to reach out with God's word globally, as well as to work to start more missions throughout North America. When we think globally, over these past five, six, seven years, our, our small church body has been blessed to reach the Hmong Fellowship Church in all places, Vietnam. And where we are now blessed to be serving and working with some 130,000 members, training and instructing their spiritual leaders, their pastors, to present the, the truth of God's word so that those individuals like us can be blessed to know that uh, through faith in Christ Jesus, their every sin has been paid for. They're, they're completely in God's family. One day we'll rejoice with them in heaven's glory. Or recently I heard that our church body all over in Africa, and I forget which country, but that there's a, a church body of some 90,000 that have started to have conversation with our missionaries in Africa. Well, it's certainly a blessing for us to to have those connections and then just to think of the number of places where we in North America start churches and have churches where the gospel continues to go out and uh, God's blessings continue to go with his word so that that desire of the Lord who wants all people to be saved is seen fruits as we proclaim that gospel. So as we pray for our government officials, we certainly pray that they are governing on behalf of the people whom they serve, that they are, they are doing what is going to be a blessing for this country, that we pray that uh, they will rule with the intent that there is peacefulness and that there is calm and that there is uh, an over sense of we are in this together, even though we may not always agree on this or that policy, but that we want to live in a country where there is that protection and that peace. As that takes place, and as that continues to happen, then we, as God's people, we as his chosen, we can continue to not only be blessed to come to worship on a weekly basis, to have these types of devotions, but also we can be blessed to continue to look to share the gospel throughout the world so that more people can have that comfort and that confidence that through faith in Christ, heaven is their home. We now continue on page 213 with the prayer. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of faith, of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and that your love is supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Ah, ha, 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 man.